Science is a wonderful thing if one does not have to earn one's living at it. With this scientific thought, this is Ms. Anupama welcoming you all on Ms. Anupama's channel. So my dear students, today this session is meant only for the exercise that is notes writing and the subject is science that is EVS1. Uh, then lesson number two, that is the interrelationships between living things. So we are going to write down the exercise which is there on, which is there in your science textbook that is EVS one and uh, below the lesson this exercise given to you. And the first question says that fill in the blanks. Okay, so the first fill in the blank is that after rainy season winter comes again okay the first fill in the blank is that after rainy season after rainy season what comes now the rainy season is going on after this season which season comes it's a winter season okay yeah the second one we keep animals because animals meet some of our needs okay we keep animals for our needs that is like pet animals domestic animals we keep so they meet our needs okay garja purna karta so we keep them okay the third one we spray insecticides insecticides means kitanu okay so kitnashuk aushadastat na so we spray that okay we spray that insecticides to prevent insects from attacking plants okay plants jhadanvar apan takto spray karto okay so because what happened by this insecticides the insects will not attack the plants okay so insecticides and the fourth one winter okay after rainy season which season comes it's a winter season so winter is also known as the season of Pangar, okay, Maharashtrian word it is, okay, Marathi word. So, Pangar, Pangar, manje Pangar taat, okay. So, it's a Marathi word, Pangar, understood? So, winter is also known as a season of Pangar, okay, understood this fill in the blanks? Now, we we'll move towards the question and answers. Yeah. Okay, dear students, now the question answers we are going to see we are going to understand and then you'll be able to write down okay so the second question says that write the following questions okay answer the following questions answer the following questions okay and the first question says that how are plants useful to us okay plants how they are useful to us in what sense they are really useful to us the first point, the plants gives us food grains, okay, it is understood, they give, they give food grains to us, vegetables, fruits, flowers, etc. Okay, so all these things which are very useful to us for human beings, that is vegetables, fruits, flowers, etc. are given by this plant, so they are useful to us. Plants also provide us with fibers like cotton wool, okay, cotton wool also provided by the uh, plants okay cotton wool is provided we can make clothes from this plant fibers okay we can make this uh, clothes okay we can make clothes from this plant fibers okay plants give us oxygen very important point okay plants gives us oxygen they also provide materials like wood to us for making a shelter okay to making a shelter plants provide us the wood understood now we'll move to the second question yes students now see here the second question what is meant by arboreal animals okay different types of animals are there in that arboreal is also one type now what are these arboreal animals arboreal means those living in trees the animals those lives in trees arboreal animals are those animals that live in the trees and feed on the fruits or insects therein okay arboreal animals mostly 
lives in trees and they why they lives how they lives they lives in the trees and feed okay they eat the fruits which are on the trees and insects whatever insects are there there they uh, eat and they live their life in the trees arboreal animals take support of the trees to live they take support okay they take the support of the trees for their living okay so the example of arboreal animals are monkey squirrels are the are arboreal animals understood so the last and the third question of this exercise okay, friends okay friends now this is the last question of this exercise that is lesson number 2 okay and the third question says that what changes do you see, do we see in trees at the beginning of the march okay at the beginning of the march now march month is like a, for students it's a serious month okay because now march and april the oral exams and the final exams okay so that month is very crucial that month is very important for the students and it is the beginning of the summer season also okay so in the beginning of march there is a change in the season from winter to summer i told you okay january february and beginning of the march the sudden change okay there will be a change in the weather okay there will be change in the season and from winter the ch uh, season changes to summer season okay therefore many trees are seen with new leaves okay therefore many trees many trees are seen with new leaves forest trees takes up copper color okay in forest trees they take the color of copper okay because new and tender leaves look reddish and shiny in the forest the trees takes up a copper color okay little golden copper color and the new and the tender leaves okay new and very tender leaves they look reddish and shiny these are the changes that occurs in the tree in trees as the weather starts becoming warmer okay march month from the uh, beginning of the march only the weather changes from the cold season it starts becoming warmer okay little hot season starts okay understood so these are the three question answers and four fill in the blanks i explained you okay thank you my dear students for watching and listening to me very patiently and please do like share subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my upcoming videos and this videos are related to you and your studies my dear students okay so be healthy keep smiling study more and thank you for watching me